Hi and welcome back. I'm Caroline Best of the Dow of Horsemanship. This is Everything Horses and More YouTube channel and video library. We've got Joey today. All right. So this month we're going to be talking about horse training and riding myths. This is part two, our second week, and we're going to be talking about riding in a saddle. So the previous week we were talking about the cons, all the negatives to riding truly bareback, and all the, all the pros, the positives of riding in what I highly recommend, which is a bareback pad. So there's thousands of saddles and hundreds of manufacturers and representatives selling their saddles out there. How do we know which saddle works best for your horse? So in addition to riding thousands of horses in my career, I've also met hundreds of saddle fitters and saddle reps. Being an international clinician in my time allowed me to travel extensively, meet all sorts of equine specialists and professionals, including saddle makers and fitters and representatives of saddle companies. So most saddles, 95% and greater, are designed one size fits all. Saddles are also designed to keep the rider in place, which does not teach you how to find the correct upper body rider position or leg position. Next, most riders rely on the saddle for security and confidence. While custom-made saddles work best for your horse, they also need adjusting periodically. And that's because your horse's weight's gonna change, if they're growing, their size is gonna change, and their muscling is going to change according to how often, how much you're working or not, including how your horse is growing if they're younger. And last but not least, the gullet width, the length of the saddle, does it fit? So I bet you guys never thought about that. And all the thousands of students I've worked with, that's the same, one of the biggest problems is not just as the saddle didn't fit their horse, the saddle was so snug around them. That's not how you're gonna learn. It's a false sense of security, and I understand, but it's not how you're gonna learn how to ride. So let's take a look at Joey's confirmation. Joey is semi-retired, off the track. He's only 12, but he's, um, he's sound right now, but he's, he's, he's got some issues. And so we haven't been able to school Joey in three or four years. He was part of our OTTB course, and when he was part of the OTTB course, he was in perfect health. You know, you see a lot of thoroughbreds. He's built like a, a quarter horse too, but Joey's downhill. I think, can you see that he's downhill? His shoulder's lower than his butt. He's also got a roach back. Can the camera zoom in here and see that hump over his lumbar? So I've done video, I've done a video a while ago um, on Roachback and Joey. This is predominantly created by horrible riding. You'll see, a, you'll see this in a lot of, sorry guys, hunter jumper and eventing horses. You won't see it too often in dressage or reining, but you'll see it in the thoroughbreds off the track too. It's huge consideration. Now let's look at Lovey. Lovey's got a great back. She um, had a year of training. Lovey has the best conformation. Just so you guys can see, look at her back. That's very healthy and normal compared to Joey. Even though they're built differently as thoroughbreds, they're both well-bred, they both were bred to race. Joey's very different. All right, so this was my extra wide dressage saddle that I bought for Sundance when I was becoming a working equitation certified instructor here back in 2012-13. Um, Sundance is older, fatter, wider. Her muscling at the time, she did not have muscling at the time. This will not fit, barely fit Sundance. But the point I want to show you guys is not just the tree of all these saddles. This is your tree, but also the gullet. You have three particular areas you need to be aware of when you're saddle fitting. How wide is your gullet? How wide is your tree? And that's going to include this area. And how long is your saddle? Hope that helps you guys. I look forward to your comments and any questions you might have. Thank you. May you always be one with your horse. And if you're looking for the full length video, remember this is just a snippet. The full length video is found in my video library. Whew. All right, see you guys next time.